All right, for those of you playing the game, here's the condo complex. This was the place that that Syrian boy, the young boy, he did apologize, but I told him I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rent you my place for $500. It's this kind of story, look at that dude. It just, uh, it fell over in the night. But Syrian boy, you know who you are over there on Delavina in the place where it's a one-way street just for the block. I would have been there. It's got two stories. You want to see what you're not going to get for 500 bucks? You'll never find it. I know, 500 bucks, Syrian boy, who, you know, did kind of an apology. I'm sorry, I really didn't listen to you. I looked back and I think both of you guys are, I think both of you guys are right. So, I'm gonna apologize, but I'm gonna find out what charges you can charge me for. And then um, I'll just pay you some money, okay? So you should be happy with that. But you're, you're speaking, you're, <laughs> you're smiley face. You're sending of the police. That's basically it. The sending of the police, the telling that lady that you're gonna send the police again, the leaving without apologizing, the looking at me like you're still right, the, you know, I don't know what you did. You didn't look the same when you were apologizing, but See what happened? I don't know if I, I don't think I took you seriously. Like you didn't take me seriously, dude. Yeah, there's some cool neighbors. My neighbor up there, it's toes. Yeah, it's loves towing. That's what I was trying to explain to you, policeman, in that other video live stream. I was pointing at you, you have no responsibility, sure. There's the sign. That was the sign. I could have even sold it to you, bro. But I realized it's, huh, I got nowhere to live. You guys won't let me use the bathroom. You're not gonna allow me to buy booze anymore. There's nothing here for you. This was the one I was supposed to get 20 years ago. But I got the one back there, right? Cause it's got the cool hill. Wait till you see, oh, you're not gonna see. Yeah, you'll never get it. You know you're gonna be paying $2,000. Oh, there's a cool park in there. And there's county facilities. You, you can come here, there's a clinic right there. That's where I would get my help. Yeah, right down the street, I voted right there. There's a bus stop. If you ever need to just take a bus into town or out into Goleta, it's super practical. Now, one of my Syrian buddies, Tony, He's got his shop and stop right down there. He probably could have got you a job, but no, you're stuck where you are. You're gonna be paying most of it, your salary. You know where it's going. Yeah. You, you, you can get on the freeway super quick. I do it all the time. It's uh, north going up that way. You can catch the south there. But when you move up in the world, right, afterwards you could have moved to one of these. But, dude, if you had gotten the money together to, to buy it, I would have sold it for so cheap. The cheapest it would go for. I'd let you rip me off. You see? You don't understand people like me. I'm doing this just, I'm staying just to show you. I was about to leave. I'm going to show you. My friends come here when they come to visit me from France. The, the IHOP is conveniently across the street. Uh, they have com been complaining, my friends. We're gonna have to tell Jeremy those TV sets they said. The remote is right there. The TV sets that I had been complaining about are still there and they're still very loud. And they're still saying, join our team. That's him right over there. What's his face? Jeremy. Or he's looking through those things. Or maybe he knows these people. I don't know. Are you ghosting me? All I know is that, yeah, Jeremy, I'm ghosting you. Someone else is. And dude, Syrian, you know who I am. 
Don't do that to somebody who's been living here. Living in life, too. But living right here in Santa Barbara with people like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm gonna do that, Jeremy, I don't care. Every time I go by, and I'm gonna do that to your store. You know who you are. You tried, you tried to apologize for something. You do not know what you did. You shouldn't have picked up that phone. You shouldn't have lied to the cops two times. You shouldn't have lied to Abraham. He doesn't even know what's going on. He still waves to me, he still smiles. You are gonna be paying $2,000 to some place where you're gonna have to deal with roommates every day. And I'll tell you, from my experience in 1984 having roommates, I'll never do that again. Even though it was fun. Even though it was one of those things. I'm just telling you, dude, next time, be nice to someone like me. Be nice to someone who has what I have and just listen to them. And you're gonna get some facts. You would have had, oh my God, you would have had that place. You could have started a life there. Yeah. Well, that's from Misha Bodnar, Santa Barbara, jealous. You should have Googled me. You should have Googled me. You should have found out who I was. You financially would be doing so much better. All right, that's that for this morning. We're gonna go, you know, do our usual. We'll talk to you in a little while.